Repetition. What is it? What can it be? Repetition is the repeated use of words or phrases in order to emphasize a point. An arrangement using repetition can be impactful because it's not like ordinary speech. Most people do not speak using repetitive words, therefore it is more likely to stand out. The use of repetition is designed to convey the message in a more engaging way. When an author uses a word or phrase over and over again, it causes us to concentrate on those words and phrases. It causes us to remember what they mean. It causes us to think more deeply about them. And hopefully, it causes us to identify the theme. Repetition is effective in bringing comfort, suggesting order, and adding meaning to a piece of literature. Let's take a look at a few examples to see how they are useful. Hello, I'm Mr. Red. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course. That is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. A. Go right to the source and ask the horse. He'll give you the answer that you endorse. He's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. A. In the theme song from Mr. Ed, you can see they use the word horse and course several times. This repetition lets you know that a horse, who will probably defy your expectations, is likely a major part of this show. Martin Luther King is one of the greatest live speakers, and although his most recognized use of repetition is the phrase, I have a dream, you can find repetition throughout his speeches and sermons. I am not my unmindful that some of you have come here out of great trials and tribulations. Some of you have come fresh from narrow jail cells. Some of you have come from areas where your quest for freedom left you battered by the storms of persecution and staggered by the winds of police brutality. You have been the veterans of creative suffering. Continue to work with the faith that unearned suffering is redemptive. Go back to Mississippi. Go back to Alabama. Go back to South Carolina. Go back to Georgia. Go back to Louisiana. Go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern cities. Knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. Martin Luther King Jr.'s use of the phrase, some of you, lets the audience know that he understands their plight, and it helps him to gain their trust. His impassioned use of the phrase, go back to the places and states they've come from, is a directive tying each person, each city, and each state together with a common purpose and a common goal. There's also a repetitive use of very strong words for synonyms of suffering. Things like staggered, battered, persecution, jail, trials and tribulations. These all echo in the ears of the audience and lets them know he understands where they've came from and where they need to go. A few of the important things to remember about repetition is that it stresses important aspects of the work, it helps to set the tone, it establishes a structure, and it helps the audience identify important themes. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.